Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares. Thank you for your lovely comments and thank you for all of your support that you show me every single day. If you are interested in receiving a daily oracle guidance message, I do actually draw and upload to my Instagram page every single day a daily oracle guidance card. I'm also now on Facebook as well. If you are interested in receiving a private reading, I do actually have my website linked below in the description bar. And if you are interested in a tarot reading, please be sure to understand exactly how the tarot works. Um, you know, not, not always are you going to receive those messages that you want to hear, but you're going to re receive messages that you need to hear. And lastly, if you are watching just your sun sign um, in regards to these general forecasts, you should always not only just watch your sun sign, but your, your rising sign or your ascendant sign and your moon sign as well. Because these are general forecasts, um, you might actually be able to resonate with more than just your sun sign. Okay, so I wish you all a great week. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of February 8th through the 14th. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. So Aquarius, let's get started. Happy Valentine's Day. Aquarius. I do have the Four of Rods at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Rods is a great card. It represents a happy home, things be being very secure and stable within the home environment. Um, you know, your family's happy, you're happy. Um, this is a card of um, family gatherings, um, celebrations, even marriage sometimes. Um, but this card does represent security things being you know very secure within the home found uh, the home um, environment you could be spending a lot of time at home you could be spending time with your family this week very interesting spread you have here um, Aquarius Okay, so I have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. We're just going to get the bad stuff out of the way. I have the Five of Pentacles with the Five of Cups and then the Three of Swords. So, you know, the Five of Pentacles can be a lack, you experiencing a lack in your life. Um, and it can be a lack of love with the Five of Cups here. Um, you know, the Five of Cups can also represent being emotionally uninspired, dealing with loss, sadness, regret. But you can see this person is down and it's because they're focusing on the spilled cups here and not focusing on the two cups that are behind them. So this card really represents needing to be grateful for the things that you have left, left in, in your life, the positive things that you still have left within your life. Um, and then the Three of Swords can represent, um, you know, pain, sorrow, heartache, sadness, um, needing to trust your intuition. Um, it can also represent a heavy heart. So I think that some Aquariuses feel, you know, maybe some sort of lack in their life. They could be losing faith with something or they might feel like left out in the cold in some regard. Um, I don't think you're going to experience some heartache this week. I do think that this is from something previous because directly on top of the Three of Swords, I have the Six of Cups. So this is representing the past. So I think that you have some sort of heavy heart or you're dealing with some sort of pain, some sort of heavy heart 
or sadness this week. And I think it is related to the past for many Aquariuses. And this is a general reading. So if you can't resonate with that, um, that is, that's fine. Um, you know, I always tell people to not only watch their sun sign, make sure they're watching their moon sign and their rising sign as well. Okay, so I do think this is, it, this is in regards to something from the past. Um, I feel like for many of you, you've, you might have been patient in regards to the situation. You've, you've had to go on within, go within, you've had to really rely upon your inner strength. Now, this is the week of Valentine's Day, and sometimes holidays um, can bring up old memories. So, with the Five of Cups here, this can be you experiencing some sadness um, because you're thinking back uh, to the past. This is you maybe thinking back, having some regrets, and this can just simply be your heart being heavy this week. Um... I don't feel like you're, someone's going to break your heart. I feel like this is very much um, in relation to something from the past, something you've had to, you know, really be strong with. Um, and, and for some Aquariuses, you might have some, some, some regrets here. Um, but, you know, with that being said, you know, you have the Strength card, which is a major arcana, but you also have the Judgment card, the World, and the Star. So you have these three major arcana cards back to back. So this is some very strong energy. So if you've been feeling this lack or feeling, um, you know, like you were losing faith or like things weren't improving or, or whatever it is, your spirit guides and your angels are asking you to, to remain hopeful with the star here. To remain hopeful, remain positive. Um, you have to remain positive so you don't block these beautiful blessings from coming in. The star is reassurance coming in and letting you know that these that you do have some beautiful things coming in for you. As a matter of fact, the world here is representing a cycle or a chapter in your life that is is now um, you know coming to an end. Some a, a cycle in your life is, has come full circle. And you're starting a new chapter. You're starting a new cycle in your life. Um, with the world, it can it can represent a very long cycle. So we're talking about eight or nine years in the making. And for some of you, this is you, you know, being patient in regards to this this cycle beginning. Um, so I do feel like you know, for many Aquariuses, this is you ending. Um, a cycle, and this is you starting a new a new beginning, starting a new cycle. Directly on top of the world, we do have the judgment card, which the judgment card represents, um, you know, rising up from the ashes after um, a difficult time in your life. This is, you know, representing a new beginning, rebirth. Both of these cards actually represent rebirth. So this is you actually um, rising from the ashes, rising up from this difficult cycle that's now finally ending, and you're actually starting over again. You just need to remain positive, remain hopeful. You know, you do have some wonderful things that are coming in for you. Um, and I think that, you know, because you have the, the Queen of Swords here as your overall energy, I think this is, you know, a good mind frame for you. I don't think this is bad. The Queen of Swords is, is very much you just coming through strongly in the reading. But this is my warrior queen. You know, she has been hurt in the past. Um, she's, yeah, she's been hurt. So she keeps her guard up. She keeps her walls up high. She she holds this, so, this sword firmly in her hand. And she will use it to cut out negative people or situations out of her life that no longer serve her. So I think that, you know, you've gone through some difficulties. But I think that you've learned from them. And it's made you stronger. The things in your past have, have made you stronger, Aquarius. Very much. Um, just stay focused on the positive things that you still have around you, that you still have in your life, and and know that you are being divinely guided. Know that you have that divine guidance. Your angels and your spirit guides are around you. They're leading you. They're protecting you as well. Let me draw you an additional guidance card. 
All right, let's see what the angels have to say. Please show me an additional message for Aquarius. What else does Aquarius need to know? Please show me. Okay, so also the Queen of Swords is, you know, someone who is very logical. She's sharp. She's very strong. She's a strong woman. Okay, and she's when she has her eye on something, she's very focused, very determined. So just keep your, you know, your eye on the prize. Know that you're ending a chapter. You're starting a new beginning here. You're rising from the ashes. Stay focused on the positive things you have in your life, but also stay focused on your goals, on the positive things that you want to bring into your life, okay? Now, the card that just came out is Celeste, and it says a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. So for many of you, this is the start of your new beginning. It's, it's either moving to a new home, Aquarius, or or a new place of employment, and it's in the works. Ah, uh, beautiful, it's in the works. So if you were unhappy previously at your place of employment, this very well could be, you know, even a decision coming to you this week that maybe, you know, you're, you're, you're going to be hired at a new place. You know, the Four of Rods is my home card so maybe some Aquariuses are making a decision this week to move. Maybe, you know, where you have been living, you know, has too many memories, too many difficult memories of the past. And, and you're just making a, a decision this week to move forward with your life. And you're moving perhaps to a new home. You know, this reading might appear or it might look a lot worse than it is. I, I see hope. I see things turning around. I think this reading is actually quite positive. Things are improving. And for many Aquariuses, you know, you're either moving to a new home or you're actually going to be starting um, a new job. This is wonderful. You just have to remain hopeful, remain positive. So Aquarius, I do hope that you found this reading helpful and I do hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.